Hello, Noemi. How are you today? How's everything? Hello, teacher. Good evening. <clears throat> everything good? No. I'm sick. Okay. So, what do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Qué recuerda? Something you remember about how, yesterday? How you write in the report yet? Uh -huh. Past yes. participle of verb. Uh -huh. Past participle of the verse, yes. Participle. Mm -hmm. How he has. How has. How has. Uh -huh. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Auxiliary is have and has. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, in the questions, can you give me an example of a question in uh, present perfect? <clears throat> yes, it's okay. Don't worry. In a, a question, it would be a question in present perfect. Uh, <clears throat> a simple question, right? It's not too much. Okay. Do you know? Um, do you know? Uh huh. Um, I do. Do you know how to dry trots? Yes, uh -huh. do you know how to, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, uh, hello, Miguel Angel, how are you? <clears throat> hey, Mario is listening. Ah, okay, that's nice. So what do you remember about yesterday class, Miguel Angel? Something you remember? The present perfect. Uh, ah, yes. Yes. Okay, the present perfect, very good. So right now we are going to continue with the manual. So in your manual, uh, so so we listened only, let me see, what else? Okay, we listened this question, right? About New Orleans or not? Give me a second, please. Okay, we listened this question about New Orleans, this conversation about New Orleans. Do you remember? Yes, I love it. Okay, so we already practiced, right? So we are assigned the present perfect. <clears throat> then we already uh, finished this exercise, right? With con usted, con el grupo de ustedes, y ya terminamos este. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Yes, right. We finished this exercise on page 65. This one, on page 65, we finished the exercise. After the grammar focus, yes, right? Okay, so right now you're going to listen. Uh, este sí lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Part B, complete this conversation. Complete these conversations. Okay, now we are gonna, you're going to listen a conversation and you're gonna tell me what you listen, okay? Ah, pero tengo que... Give me a second, give me a second. <clears throat> I am going to share with you the screen. Okay, give me a second. Thanks for video. And here we go. Now, so you're going to listen to the conversation. If I'm not wrong, miss this. Page 66, exercise four, conversation. Actually, I have. Part A, listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? Okay, do you listen? Yes? Is okay? Yes. No. no, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? 
I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. Okay, what did you listen? Something you listen? Any vocabulary? Any word? Escucho. Hmm? Have you ever? Have you ever? Excellent, very good. Have you ever? What else? Actually, uh, I have. Uh -huh, actually, I have. Yes, very good. Take food. Sorry? Take food. Okay, yes, take food. Okay. It's, it's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay, delicious. Excellent. Excellent, very good. Okay, that's it. Okay. So, we're going to continue listening. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. What else did you listen at the end? At the end of the conversation, what else did you listen? Can I to try final? No, teacher. Uh -huh, not yet. Okay, very good. Not, not yet. yet. Sorry? Repeat, please. Uh -huh. what, what else did you listen? Can I have No, yet. No, 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 escuché nada. no. Okay. So listen one more time. Escuchemos una vez más. A ver qué otra idea pueden, pueden agarrar. Just listen. No se oye. <laughs> no. Give me a second. Page 66, exercise 4, conversation. Actually, I have. Part A, listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. What else did you listen? Something else? Que más escucho? How you done? I'm sorry. Restaurant, how you ever? No, uh -huh. I haven't ever, ever, ever have. I was see how yes. older. Ah, okay, yes, very good, excellent. It's a good idea to write down vocabulary or sentences that you listen, right? Es una buena idea escribir uh, las cosas que escuch. Okay, now you are going to read it. And listen and read. Page 66, exercise 4, conversation. Actually, I have. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, do you have a question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Tiene preguntas? Hmm? Mm -hmm. No. No questions with pronunciation? No. Choosing, choosing. How you choosing es como escoger elegir o algo así. Uh, have you chosen? Chosen. Have you chosen a restaurant? Yes. Yes. Is to choose. Is the past participle of the verb choose. So you have a choose, chose, chosen. Choose, choose. choose in present, chose in past, and chosen in past participle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, so you have a have you, right? Se une. Have you been here long? Long only for a few minutes. 
minutes. Have you, se une aquí, have you, have you ever uh, eaten? Is it good? Se une también. This is delicious. I had it. Esta como una R, ¿verdad? I had it because it's between two vowels. Or had about, esta como una R, had about Thai food. Thai food. Have you ever had green curry? Se une aquí. Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. Como un adolescente. Teenager es adolescente. I ate it a lot there. Este con la E como no se pronuncia, se une con la, la T. Se vuelve una R porque está entre el medio de la A y la I. Por la que la E no se pronuncia. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. I it. Okay. So, you have, I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you, are you union, chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I, I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot of there, a lot of there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, question with pronunciation or vocabulary? No. no. Okay, no. right now you're gonna practice, right? You're gonna practice in the breakup rooms. Right now we are just eight, but you're going to practice, uh, let me see, the breakup rooms. So we are going to practice. Okay. So uh, here we go. Uh, we are going to make groups of four. Okay, uh, Saul Alejandro, can you stay please? Ah, aquí solo hay dos. Saúl Alejandro en Lucía. Can you stay, please? Ah, pero se me va a quedar solo Glenda. Ok, Saúl Alejandro. Saúl Alejandro, can you hear me? Yes. It's ok. Ok, so you're going to move to the breakout room. So I'm going to send you the picture. Ahorita le mando la conversación para que la practique en su breakout room. Permítame. Ahí está la conversación. There you have the conversation. Ok, solo que ahí falta que se una Miguel Ángel al room number two y Saúl Alejandro, bueno, Lucía al room number one. Ah, oh, no, Lucía le dije que se quedara, ¿verdad? So, but move, Lucía. Sí, sí. Me, me voy a quedar con Saúl Alejandro. Ok, Lucía, oh, go, sí. Sí, go to the breakout room and practice with Clenda. Ok, Miguel Ángel, Clemente Presa, join to the room number two, please. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel, Mario, en José Marín Ortiz. Se tiene que unir al room number two. Necesito que me envíe este. El enlace para irme al. al... Ah, si no, no le cayó un cuadrito azul, lo dice Join. No, no ah, me okay. ha caído. Um, but, mire, eh, Saúl se fue, a, a, así que. Roberto Carlos Cartagena. Vamos a mandar esto. Quédese, Lucía, porque Saúl se fue, entonces Saúl Alejandro se fue con Glenda. Entonces, Glenda Practice. Noemí dice okay. que está so sola en el grupo. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel. Es que falta que Miguel Ángel vaya al grupo, al room number two. No sé si se ha levantado. Yes, Noemí is alone. Ah, pues creo que voy a tener que mover a Noemí. Ah, ok. Al room number one. Y Miguel eh, se queda aquí entonces. Ok, so, eh, Lucía y Miguel. Ah, no. Ya, yeah, Lucía y Miguel. Lucía y Miguel, you're going to move to... 
Okay, Lucia and Miguel, you're going to uh, practice the conversation. Okay, Roberto. Hi, uh, Roberto, hello, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Okay, you are going to practice the conversation with Lucia. Okay, Peter is uh, Roberto and Mandy is Lucia. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? Hmm? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten more Moroccan food? Hmm? Moroccan? No. Mm, no, I haven't. Is it good? Is it good? I see good. Hmm? It's delicious. I have it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? <clears throat> Hmm? Actually, I have, I live in Thailand. Thailand? Thailand? Huh? As a teenager. As a teenager. I ate it a lot. Hmm? Yes, I ate it a, a lot. Uh -huh. What else? Hmm. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? Hmm? Yes, how long did you live there? I didn't. No, estoy con el otro. I lived there for two years. Uh -huh. I lived there for two years. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so do you have any questions with vocabulary or no questions? No? No questions with vocabulary? No. Yes, tengo aquí en el rinker. Yes, in what? Sí, ahorita veo. Yes, what else? Moroccan, Moroccan food is, está correcto. Moroccan food, yes. Moroccan food es comida marroquí. Mm -hmm. de, uh -huh. Ok, comida marroquí, yes. Ok, more questions? No. No more questions? No. Ok, so, ok. So, only Namir has to come back. Very good. So, uh, remember, have you, según, ¿verdad? For us, ah, según. Have you joined? Have you joined? Is it good joined? Had it? I had it several times. Como una ever. How about Thai food? Have you ever? And I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. Now you're going to, can you help me to listen to read the part B, please? Uh, uh, Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Okay, so um, listener, just listen. Okay, Glenda, can you help me to read the part B? Okay, teacher. Hmm? Is listen to rest of the conversation. Where do they decide to have dinner? Decide, decide to have dinner. Decide, where do they decide to have dinner? Where do they decide to have dinner, right? Is clear the question? Is the question is clear? Or no, no question. Oh, no, it's not clear. Part B. The question is clear. Where do where do they decide to have dinner? The place they choose for dinner. Is clear? Yes. Okay. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do they decide to have dinner? So what about dinner? I'm hungry. Have you tried Sakura? They have excellent sushi. Actually, I had Japanese food for lunch. Well, how about Italian food? Cafe Roma is a great place, and it isn't far. 
That's fine with me. I love Italian food. Okay, what did you listen? Any word you listen? Uh huh. I hungry. I'm hungry. Yes, very good. What else? Well, how about? Uh huh. Well, how That's about? Fine with me. I love it. I love it. Uh huh. I love it. Okay, I love, I love it. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now listen actually. one more time. Sir, yes. Yes. Well, actually. 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 Page 66, exercise four, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do they decide to have dinner? So what about dinner? I'm hungry. Have you tried Sakura? They have excellent sushi. Actually, I had Japanese food for lunch. Well, how about Italian food? Cafe Roma is a great place, and it isn't far. That's fine with me. I love Italian food. Okay, what else did you listen? ¿Qué más escuchó? Japanese food. Japanese food, excellent, very good. Japanese I, food. I love uh, Italian. 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 Uh -huh. I love Italian. What else? No. What else did you listen? Algo más que haya escuchado? I have yet. I have, I have... I have I have lunch yet. Or I have had lunch. Mm -hmm. What else? On? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to listen the last time. And this time you're going to tell me where do they decide to have dinner? I don't know if you can listen now. Teacher, es que dice algo de Roma, pero no se entiende bien el nombre. Ajá, Café Roma. Café Roma. Café Roma is a, from, it's a restaurant uh, with Italian food. And Sakura is a, is a Japanese restaurant with Japanese food. Okay? Sakura, Japanese food. Okay, about sushi, they say, I think. And the other one, the second one is Café Roma with Italian food. Okay, listen the last time. Escuchamos la última vez. Y me dice a dónde ellos deciden cenar. Page 66, exercise 4, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do they decide to have dinner? So what about dinner? I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Have you tried Sakura? They have excellent sushi. Actually, I had Japanese food for lunch. Well, how about Italian food? Cafe Roma is a great place, and it isn't far. That's fine with me. I love Italian food. Okay, so they decide for Japanese food or for Italian food? Italian food. Italian yeah. food. Uh -huh, because the man said he already had, had sushi. Ella ha tenido sushi for, for lunch. Uh -huh, for lunch for today. Lunch. Right? Uh -huh, for the lunch today. Now, the last time, the last time. Page 66, Exercise 4, Café Roma, Part B. Italian food. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do they decide to have dinner? So what about dinner? I'm hungry. Have you tried Sakura? They have excellent sushi. Actually, I had Japanese food for lunch. Well, how about Italian food? Café Roma is a great place, and it isn't far. That's fine with me. I love Italian food. Okay, Cafe Roma is in par, right? Okay, very good. Now listen the grammar focus. Present perfect versus simple past. Listen these parts, please. This part. Page 66, exercise 5. Grammar focus. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay, so what are you going to do? Uh, use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. 
for an indefinite an indefinite time in the past and use the simple past for a specific in that indefinite a specific a specific event in the past right so for example have you ever eaten moroccan food yes i have i ate it once in paris no i haven't i never eaten it what is the the sentences in past number one yes i have i ate it once in paris or number two no, I haven't. I never eaten it. What is the pasado simple? Which sentence is in simple class? Number one or number two? Mm -hmm. no. Number one. Yeah, number one, right? I ate it once in Paris. I, I ate it. So I finished, right? So it's an active, so it's an specific event in the past, right? An specific event in the past in Paris. Uh, a specific event. I ate it once in Paris. In this case that you have a ate it, so uh, a, ate it. Como la es muda, so you have a letter T between the letter vowel A and the vowel, the vowel I. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I never eaten it. That is present perfect. Now, the next one. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I, number two. I, no, I haven't. I never had it. What is the sentence in simple class? Uh -huh. What is the sentence in simple class? Number one or number two? Number one. Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. Or number two. No, I haven't. I never had it. What is number it? one. Number one, right? I tried it several years ago. I tried it several years ago. That's nice. So in this case, for example, can you help me to read the instruction, Saul? Can you give me the indication, please? Uh, complete these conversations. Complete this conversation. Use the present perfect and simple past of the mm -hmm. verb giving and short answer. Then practice with a partner. Yes, for example, here you have, what do you think is the answer for for here, uh -huh. what it could be the answer? You ever in a karaoke bar? Uh -huh. I have. I have. What is the auxiliary? What is the auxiliary? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever? Has tu alguna vez? Have you ever? What? Sun. 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 Yes, son. Have you ever seen in a karaoke bar? Yes, I. Yes, I what? I have. Yes, I have. Punto. Es respuesta corta porque tenemos el punto después. Yes, I have. Five. I. I seen. Uh, uh, in one on my birthday. Que sería lo mismo que la misma, el mismo verbo. Pero en presente perfecto. Yo he cantado una en mi cumpleaños. ¿Cómo digo yo he cantado? Ahí sí. Ah, no, ese yo canto. Yo he cantado ese. Ahí sang. I have sang. I have sang. The very past participle, remember. Después del have, el verbo va en pasado participio. Acordémonos, ¿verdad? I have sun. Ok, very good. I have sun in one on my birthday, right? I have sun in one on my birthday. Ok, y así va a contestar la 2, la 3, la 4 y la 5 en su casa. In your house. Because right now we have a, a, this. Ah, Lucia, can you take a screenshot, please, of the homework? Puedes tomar una factura de pantalla de la, de la tarea de ese? Sí, ahorita. So remember, you have to complete with present perfect or simple pass. Or simple pass, right? Tiene que fijarse en la oración que si no vayan a palabras claves para el simple pass o palabras claves de clue eh, words for the present perfect, right? No sé si está clara la, la, la tarea. Es sí, para ahorita. No, no, for tomorrow. Oh, okay. It's for tomorrow. Yeah, this yeah. page 
Lucia ahí les mandó. Thank you, Lucia. Lucía les mandó la captura de pantalla. Now oh, in the... No, no, todavía no la mandó. Sí, sí. Ah, no okay. está. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. No, I haven't checked it. Let me check okay. it out. I think yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lucia. Very good. This is the homework for tomorrow, okay? Okay, now, so here you have the, the words for and since. Tenemos la palabra for and since. Ahora bien, what is the difference to use for or since? So the difference is now the period of the times. Okay, cuando se, la diferencia de, estos dos, de estas palabras, <clears throat> aparte que se vean por el contexto, también eh, lo que... Lo que lo que significa en verdad. Entonces, eh, vamos a ver, Lucas, this... ¿dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Ok, so you have a four, eh, when you have a, a period of time, when you have a period of time, you have to use eh, four, right? Cuando se tiene un periodo de tiempo. Entonces, usted puede decir, for two weeks, look at these examples, for two weeks. Okay, so you have a four for two weeks. I'm gonna change the color. For two weeks, for two years. And also here you have a expression with four, two weeks, for two weeks, for a few months, for a several for several years, for a long time, for. So you have to use for with a period of time when you have a a period of time. Y ahí les voy a mandar las que ya les había mandado para que la vean. Y since it, you have to use it, since, no se pronuncia science, eh, ¿verdad? Este, aquí, okay. science, the pronunciation is since. Since, you have to use it with the start of the period. The start of the period. For example, I live here for six months. No, uh, so that is for, I lived here since last year, since last year, right? since. So for example, how long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Now we're using for, for is for a period of time, a specific period of time. I lived here for six months, I love here. Okay, is clear the difference? When are you going to use for? For un periodo de tiempo que ya terminó, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo viví, yo he vivido ahí, here, aquí, yo he vivido aquí por seis meses, ¿verdad? Por seis meses. Y es posible que más, ¿verdad? Oh. ¿Ah? Por ejemplo, I lived there for two years. Yo viví allí por dos años. Ese periodo de tiempo ya pasó. Entonces, for two years, for two years, right? <clears throat> and you have a since, the pronunciation is since, no signs. In since, you have to use it for, <clears throat> for the start of the period. Para el comienzo de la hora, de la, comienzo de la, del periodo, comienzo del periodo, usamos since. Por ejemplo, I live here since last year. Yo he vivido aquí desde el año pasado. Desde significa since, ¿verdad? Desde el año pasado. Ok, the expression with since. Tenemos las expresiones con since. Por ejemplo, since, desde las 6.45, pero no ha terminado. Since last weekend, desde el fin de semana pasado, pero no ha terminado. Since 1997, desde el 1997, and since elementary school. Since elementary school. Is clear what is the difference? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sin es para lo que no ha terminado y for es para el que ya pasó. Ajá. Vamos a ver. For es para... Eh... Sí, ahí les mandé también la imagen en el grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces, sí. for es para un periodo de tiempo. Para un periodo de tiempo que ya... Eh, ha terminado. Eh, ajá, que ya terminó. For. Y since, For y already finished. Y comienzo. Cambio mm -hmm. since. 
es un, uh, un comienzo del periodo. Es el comienzo del periodo. Since, por ejemplo, no es lo mismo que diga, yo viví ahí por dos años, eso ya pasó, que yo diga, yo he vivido aquí desde el año pasado. Entonces, <ríe> I lived here since last year. Entonces, he vivido, <ríe> he vivido desde el año, eh, desde el año pasado, pero esto solamente es el comienzo del periodo. No me dice si ya no vivo allí, no me dice si ya, ya me cambié de lugar, if I move. So it's only the beginning. It's only the beginning. Is clear? Yes. Okay. Okay, right now you have this exercise you have to use for or since. En este de aquí usted tiene que utilizar for or since. Okay, I'm going to use some minutes for answering. For example, the number one. Eh, sin las respuestas, que, can you read it, please? Uh, Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. Sin las respuestas, ¿puede leerlas? Thank you, Anita. Huh? Mm -hmm. Pam was in Central America. A few months. A month last year, right? Pam was in Central America uh, a month last year. Entonces sería since, o sea, tenemos que, o for, teníamos que ver si es el, un periodo de tiempo que ya terminó o es un comienzo de un periodo. Si es, es for. Si es el comienzo de un periodo, sería since. Si es algo que ya pasó o que ya terminó, es for. Pam was in Central America. For. Ya, pas, ya pasó for. o empieza. Ya pasó. Entonces, si ya pasó, utilizamos for, for. ¿verdad? So, in this sí. case, we have to use for. for. For a month last year. Miguel puede leer la oración. No sé si Miguel está disponible. Yes. Ok, the number one, please. Pan was... Pan was in Central America for a month last year. Oh, for a month last year. Now, the number two. I have been... I have been a college student in the blank, eh, blank, el espacio, the space, the blank, almost for years. So, for or since? ¿Ya pasó la actividad o empieza la actividad? Since. Finish. Finish. Yo he sido for. un estudiante de universidad for, por casi cuatro años o desde hace cuatro años. For. ¿Mm? For, for almost four years. Four. O sea que la actividad ya terminó. Dice, yo he estado en el colegio, estoy en el colegio. Ah, ah no, 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 es since. Es since. Since. ¿Seguro? Seguro que since. Yes. Ok, yo he sido un estudiante de universidad desde casi cuatro años. Ah, entonces es for, porque ha sido. O es. Ajá. ¿Qué quiere Ajá. decir? Ha sido. Yo he sido. He sido. He sido. Ajá. Quiere decir que sigue siendo. Ajá. Por eso es since. Ajá. Por eso, since. Por eso es since, ¿verdad? Ok. So, sí. I've been a college student for almost four years. Since almost four years. Desde hace cuatro años. Ok. Para mí es since. Para mí también. Yes. Porque... Dice que no, no menciona si ya dejó de serlo. Entonces, mm -hmm. ok. Number three. Hiroshi has been at work 6 a.m. Ah. Hiroshi ha estado en el trabajo desde las 6 a.m. Es since. entonces since. since. ¿Por qué? Porque no ha terminado de trabajar. No dice que haya terminado de trabajar o no dice que haya salido de trabajar. Number four. Ok, la number three. Que, eh, Naomi, can you read the number three? La tres. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. For a long time. Is, is, do you agree? Is it for or since? For. Ok, for a long time. Ok, for a long time, yes. Ok, now the number five. Can you read the number five, please? Eh, Lucia, number five. Josh lived 
just live in Venezuela um, for two years. As for two years. Here. Ok, ¿ya pasó o no ha pasado el tiempo ese? Ya pasó. Ya pasó, por eso es for, right? For two years. For two years, porque ya pasó. Now, my parents have been on vacation for Monday or since Monday? Since. Since, right? Since. Porque no dice... Eh? Ah, no, es el, es el comienzo de, de un periodo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No dice que ya haya terminado. Since Monday. <coughs> uh -huh. Allí en WhatsApp tienen una imagen que les reenvía ahora. So, number seven. Ahí pueden ver los otros más ejemplos con for y con since. Now, Natalie was engaged to Danny for or since six months. For. for, for. Natalie, Natalie was um, okay. engaged. 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 Ajá. Es pedirle la mano a alguien. O sea, comprometerse. Comprometerse. Ah. Uh -huh. Natalie was engaged to Danny for or since? Four. Four. Four, six months. Four, six months. ¿Ya pasó ese periodo de tiempo? ¿Los seis meses? O sea, yes. Yes. So it's four, right? Okay. Let me to write. Four. And the last one. Pat and Valerie has been best friends high school. Since. 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 No es science, ¿verdad? Desde high school porque es el comienzo de un periodo y ellas no han terminado de ser amigas, ¿verdad? So, the number eight. Can you help me to read the number eight, please? Uh, vamos a ver. Ok, Roberto Carlos, can you help me to read the number six? The number eight. Sorry, the number eight. Pat and Valerie. Pat and Valerie have been best friends since high school. Since high school, very good. Now, uh, so can you see the questions that you have here? How long have you, okay, the number one. Can you help me to read the number one, please? Uh, who? Can you help to read me the number one? Uh, okay, me ayuda a leer la número uno, please. Uh, Saúl Alejandro, how long? <coughs> Saúl, ¿Are you able to talk? Voy a hablar, Saúl. Sí, solo que tengo problemas con la, con la aplicación. Se me apaga y se me enciende. Ah, ok. Tal vez si se sale, la, de, la deja un ratito, unos dos minutos y después vuelve a entrar. Pero so, ahorita puedo, puedo, teacher. Ok, this, 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 this question. Can you repeat the question, please? How long have you had your current hairstyle? Uh, how long... How long have you had your current hairstyle, right? Your current hairstyle. Is clear the question? Está clara la pregunta. Yes or no? Yes? Okay, very good. So how long have you had your current hairstyle? ¿Cómo respondemos esta pregunta? What is the meaning of the current? Her current. Tu actual corte de cabello, tu estilo de cabello. Tu actual estilo de cabello. ¿Mm? Actual. ¿Mm? Current, currently, es actualmente. Actual. Current hairstyle. How long, cuánto tiempo ha tenido su... Tu actual eh, corte de cabello. Estilo de cabello o corte de cabello actual. ¿Mm? Entonces, ¿cómo respondemos a esa pregunta? ¿Cómo le respondemos? I have had, yo he tenido, I have had, ¿qué va de, después? Your current hairstyle. Okay, my yes. current hairstyle. I, perdón, my. For. For. Uh, for. Uh, in my case, for two or three years. For two or three years, right? For two or three years. Okay, so you have. For a, the last two years. For the last, for the last year, for the last two years, right? Okay, yes, for the last two years. Uh -huh, for the last uh, uh, two years. So you have a, I have had 
Yo he tenido, I have had my current hairstyle for two years. Now, the next one, the number two. Eh, Roberto Carlos, ¿me puede ayudar a leer la segunda? How long have you studied? How, okay. Perdón. How long have you studied at this school? Uh -huh, yes. How long have you studied at this school, English Corporate? English Corporate, right? How long have you studied at this school? ¿Cuánto tiempo ha usted estudiado en esta escuela, en English Corporate? I had, I've had, or oh, I've, ¿qué iría después? I have studied. I have studied at this school for, for since. Hmm? Since three ah. months. Okay, since th for three months. For three months. Three for three months. Okay. Hay algunas expresiones que sí son específicas. Eh, por ejemplo, podría decirse que son excepciones. Para ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp le mandé una imagen que ya se la había reenviado anteriormente, pero se la reenvié hoy, esta vez, ahorita, bueno, hace unos momentos. I resend it de mesa, de mesa, de WhatsApp, de, de, de in picture, de image, to the WhatsApp. So just give me, it's challenging. Give me a second, please. So, entonces tenemos expresiones que son, sí pueden ser como como secciones, right? Ok, so, oh, aquí está. Look at this. Es la imagen que ya les mandé que no me carga. Ah, pero no la pueden ver. ¿verdad? Ok, give me a second, please. Oops, que lo vi. Espérenme. Ok. Está, está cargando, it's charging. So, ok, I want to show you. And then, so you have the question number three. Uh, Glenda, can you help me with the number three? How long have you known? Number three. Mm -hmm. How long have you known this one? Mira, me que no veo. Ah, lo vas a más. Bye. How long have you now your best friend? Uh -huh. How long have you known your best friend? ¿Cuánto tiempo ha usted conocido a su mejor amigo? ¿Ok? ¿Cuánto tiempo usted ha conocido a su mejor amigo? Entonces, de, I, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? I have known. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? I have known to my best friend. Ah, sería, ah, este primero, ¿verdad? I have known, después iría el non, el mismo verbo que estamos utilizando. I have known, se sería este verbo. I have known, ups, ya no puede. Aquí entonces sería I have known, ¿verdad? I have known, no me quiere. Entonces sería I have known. Your best friend or my best friend? My best friend. My best friend. My best friend. I have known my best friend. Sería for or since. Dependiendo, por ejemplo, lo que les quería mostrar es... Que todavía no me acuerdo. <risa> ah, bueno, ya cargó, ya cargó. Ah, pero no la estoy mostrando. Permita. Give me a second, please. Ok, give me a second. A ver si la computadora no hace lo que uno quiere. Ahí está. Eh, ok, a ver, voy a detenerse un momentito. Es la imagen que ya tiene allí en su grupo de WhatsApp. Look at this. Ok, look at this. Aquí está. So you already have this picture. So here. So you have, eh, for example, for. Entonces lo vamos a utilizar for a few years. For five years. For two months. For about three years, for less than three years, for four days, for los días, miren, por cuatro días, por cinco días, por años, por cinco años, por seis años, for an hour, for a week, por una semana, for two weeks, for three weeks, for, for minutes, 
for three minutes, for four minutes, five minutes, for a long time. Entonces, con estas expresiones las vamos a utilizar con for porque son, eh, representan un periodo de tiempo, ¿verdad? From the past to now, from the past to the present. One, two, three, four, five days. Now, with since, no hay pronuncia signs. Since, lo utilizamos plus the start of the period. Monday, since the other Monday, right? Entonces, desde el lunes hasta el otro lunes. This is from Monday, right? It's the period. It's a period that has not finished. En el caso de since, el periodo no ha terminado. En el caso de for, sí. Pero tenemos estas expresiones que son especiales. Por ejemplo, para los años usamos since, mire. No decimos for 2002, no. Decimos since 2002, since 1999, since January 2002, first. Since May, desde mayo, porque no ha terminado. Empezó en mayo, pero no dice que haya terminado. Since Monday, los días de la semana. Since her big break in 1997, la hora. Since nine o'clock, desde las nueve en punto, he estado haciendo eso. Él. Since 1230, since Christmas, since I got up. Desde que yo me levanté, he estado limpiando, he estado cocinando. Since I got up, I have been cleaning, ¿verdad? Ok, ese lo tienen allí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, so, okay. it's clear the use of uh, when you use uh, since and when you use for, is clear? Yes. Ok, so how do you answer this one? How long have you known your best friend? ¿Cómo responderíamos es? How long have you known your best friend? Huh? I have known. Ajá. Uh Ajá, -huh. uh -huh. yes, I have, ajá. Uh -huh. I have, I have known my best friend in the answer, the possible answer. For. For, for qué? For. For. Va bien, va bien. I have known my best. Ajá, uh -huh. for mm. three months. Excellent, very good. I have known my best friend for three months, right? For three months. Excellent, very good. Okay, do you have more questions? About four, okay, the last one, the number uh, the number four. How long have you been awake today? Is clear the question? La pregunta está clara. Okay, Roberto, can you read the question, please? How long have you been awake today? ¿Cuánto tiempo has tú estado despierto hoy? How long have you been awake, right? How long have you been awake? I have been awake. Y de ahí dice since, puede ser since uh, I got up. Since I, 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 since what? Since I cleaned the house. Since I wake up. Sí, and so, right? ¿Cuánto tiempo has tú estado despierto? Hoy, y ahí le puedo poner, ¿verdad? Ok, do you have a question about this? Questions? No. No, no. Ok, listen to the link sounds. Now, estas son como reducciones. Escuchemos las link sounds, please. Page 67, exercise 5. Grammar focus. Four. And since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Okay, give me a second. I'm looking for the correct unit because uh, my mouse, my mouse from the computer is not working properly because today I have an accident with the mouse. Aquí está. Okay, so link sounds. Give me a second. Ay, esta cosa se mueve. Medio lo toca uno y se va para abajo. Okay, here we go. Now listen. Now yes, listen. This part. That was the grammar focus. Pronunciation. Page 67, exercise 6. Pronunciation. 
Linked Sounds, Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, listen one more time. Escuchémoslo una vez más. Page 67, Exercise 6, Pronunciation, Linked Sounds, Part A, Listen and Practice. Notice how final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, now, so you have this question. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I already. ¿Cómo lo pronuncia esto? Huh? Cooked it. Cooked it, right? Cooked it. Cooked it. I already cooked it. Right? Se une. Se une la D con la I. Y forman un... Uh, cooked it. Okay? Se, ¿Por qué sale una T? ¿De dónde sale esa T? De pronunciar la ED. Porque eh, la última letra del verbo es la K. Como es una K y es un verbo regular, cuando le agregamos la ED, esta ED pasa a tener un sonido de T. Y de ahí nace la T. Cooked it. Cooked it. Yes, I already cooked it. Okay, cooked it. Now, the next one. Have you ever tried Cuban food? ¿Has tú alguna vez probado comida cubana? Cuban food. Yes, I tried it once in Miami. I tried it. ¿De dónde sale esta D? De pronunciar la ED. Como es una Y en pasado, y la última, esa es la última letra que se pronuncia, tried. Entonces, al pasarlo aquí al pasado, esta ED pasa a ser una, una pronunciación de D. I tried it once in Miami. Right? Ok. Allí le acabo de enviar una conversación a la... ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Do you have questions? No. No. Ok. So you, uh, I say you a conversation here in the WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, no lo veo. Mm, I don't see the WhatsApp. Okay, so in the WhatsApp group you have a conversation. And in this conversation, so you, what are you going to do? Uh, okay, you're going to uh, change the information of the conversation, this one. So in this conversation, Audrey, have you met Hannah? No, I haven't. Okay, Hannah, I'd like you to meet Audrey. Hi, Audrey, you look familiar. Have we met before? I don't think so. I know last month you were at my sister Nicole's party. Oh, that's right. Have you been? Okay, con esta conversación usted va a crear una nueva similar, similar a esta. Obviamente le tiene que cambiar los nombres. Y tal vez alguna de las situaciones ahí, you're going to change. Okay, ahí la tiene en, la, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Okay, do you have any questions so far? ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿O no questions? No, no questions. No questions. Entonces, for tomorrow, eh, ahí le dejo la tarea de cambiar la conversación. Y este el ejercicio que está en la página. Eh, okay, el ejercicio anterior que está después del, del, del present perfect en versus simple plus. Que sería este, miren. Entonces, tiene que cambiar la conversación for tomorrow. For tomorrow, Richard, you have to change the conversation. Y aquí usted tiene esto de aquí. Esto, antes del for your sins, ¿verdad? Esto, present perfect versus simple plus. Tiene esto que usted lo tiene que contestar, ¿verdad? En la página 66. Página 66. Ahí lo voy a poner. Homework on page 66. Entonces tiene dos, dos tareas mañana. Terminar este. Terminar este de aquí, de las 66. Y de la conversación que tiene en WhatsApp, eh, cambiarle alguna información, ¿verdad? Similar, pero no la misma. ¿Y eso de la plataforma, Tisha? ¿Cuál? Eso que nos está diciendo. Eh, lo de present perfect versus simple past. Eh, no, y... es que está en su manual. Uh... En el manual está en la página 66. Uh -huh. Bueno. 
Yo sí, voy para no. vida. Oh. Ok, sí. Ahí trate, ¿verdad? Cuando tenga tiempito. Ok, okay so. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Ok, gracias por haberse unido. Eh, recordando que mañana, tomorrow is. Tomorrow is the last day. Mañana ya es el último día, ¿verdad? Sí. Qué rápido. Bueno. Piche. Yes. Hoy no nos han enviado nada para llenar, es por lo mismo que está pasando con el Insafor. Ah, oh. yo creo que lo más probable es de que las indicaciones se las van a dar mañana. A ver qué le dicen mañana. A ver. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Yes, very good. Ok. So, see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. bye bye. Take care. Bye, people. Goodbye. Take care. Bye bye.